today we are going to discuss about uh, exporting and importing of an assets uh, using uh, GUI like basically the idea behind this discussion is uh, see whenever you do a, a development of any ETL mapping so once the development is done your unit testing also is done now you want to take it to the uh, next environment like QA or uh, uh, stage or finally to the prod so that time uh, giving the file as a zip file and that file can be uploaded into the uh, different environment but uh, in our agenda today what we are going to do is simply exporting that asset and after that for testing purpose I am removing the uh, asset what we have exported then re-importing that asset how it look like uh, let us quickly have a idea now okay let me go back to the uh, Informatica cloud it's okay see here for example uh, today's session what we can do is we can take some um, small file okay uh, what I'm doing is for exporting purpose I'm coming to the explorer and go to the corresponding asset uh, folder okay under that folder when you go there you can select which particular mapping you would like to export select once you selected you can uh, go to the navigation panel select the drop down and you can see the export button here okay select it okay and you can see the asserts uh, <coughs> objects it involves it will give you what is the connection and the mapping and the runtime environment everything you just simply say export here and if you <coughs> so so the export is done now it is downloaded and the download folder okay this is the file name to confirm that we can directly go to the download folder here okay so you can see this is the just a second sorry I didn't complete it so the job is completed but I didn't download it yet so click download now actually it's downloaded if you go back to the download folder yes the file got downloaded successfully now the next step as I told uh, for testing purpose we are going to delete the mapping now okay so I can go back to the property okay and select deletion okay so this will uh, this will be taken care of the second step removing of that asset just for testing purpose okay now this is out of uh, that project folder uh, that asset is out of that project folder now now the third and final step is again uh, same explorer uh, option under that you can find the import option select that and now the file which we have downloaded choose the file from the location see this is the file we have downloaded just now select the file and yeah so now you can see that uh, bottom of it which asset you have selected and what is the name of it and you can see uh, what is the type of the asset it's a mapping and what is the location you want to import it because we already selected my test project and finally this is the creation we are not overwriting it's a brand new okay that is why you see that create an object it's showing the status now we can click import so now you can go back and see the status it is imported completed successfully now you can go back to the explorer again to double check whether it came back again scroll it all the way to the top oh you can see see now the file uh, uh, imported successfully now so thank you friends for watching my video please subscribe my channel